The test planning application allows you to take the test cases you've built within the test repository and add them into the test planning application so you can add them to cycles, rounds of tests, and align these test cases to testers. Let's take a look around. So on the left hand side over here we see all of the listed cycles and these are subdivided by phases. On the right hand side we see a visualization of this. So these are the cycles and these are the phases which contain the test cases. The phases allow test case execution progress to be reported by sub area of testing. They also allow test managers and test leads to split up the work of the entire sprint into sub areas. So you can create, for example, a phase for API tests, a phase for tests which have to be conducted offline, a test for any other condition, for example, test cases which need to be executed on a particular environment. Now let's go into the three dots next to the cycle. And this is where you can add a new phase. When you've created the phase, you can click on the three dots next to a phase and click on a sign to jump in and add in some test cases. So I'll go to a cycle over here for August. We go into perhaps the tests run one phase. Hit a sign. Then we see a folder structure for the tests. Now you can create this folder structure to be of any depth. There's no restriction. You just go to the three dots next to the phase name and click on add to create a subfolder and then next to any one of the subfolders you click on add to create a further subfolder now once you've created your subfolders you'll need to add the test cases in that's done by going to this button over here you can add test cases in by running a quick keyword search like this Now the test cases stored within the test repository might have been structured, might have been stored using a particular folder structure. You can maintain that same folder structure by using this checkbox. So rather than adding in, let's say all of these test cases into a flat directory structure, it'll use the hierarchy used or created within the test repository for each of these test cases. As well as doing the quick keyword search, you can also run a ZQL query. So for instance here, we can search for all of the test cases that perhaps come under the regression tag and make this a complex query by building in another condition. For instance, the priority might need to be P1. Don't worry about using these statements again and again. They'll be stored here on the right hand side so you can reference them. You can also browse the test repository going through your folder structure you've created and picking and choosing test cases. Again, maintaining the same hierarchy from the test repository. You can also use the results of the previous execution. So from the November to March sprint, perhaps we want to know all of the tests from the API run that perhaps failed, so we can re-execute. At the bottom, there are some other options. If the test case has since been modified, you'll see more than just version one over here, and therefore you can either use the current version, if it's on perhaps version four, version five, etc., or you can use the originally linked version of the test case, the test case version previously was executed under. You can also maintain the original assignments as well. So these were all assigned to John. You can maintain these assignments in this way. Once you've added in the test cases, you can assign them to testers. So over here, you can see all of the assignments. You can either individually go to a test case and assign it in this way. You can even assign it to anyone so that any user in the project can have access to this test case for execution. You can also bulk assign as well. Pick some test cases here and use the drop down up at the top to assign all of these perhaps to Sam. Now perhaps Sam's not available for testing. Perhaps Sam has been moved off to another project. For any reason, if you need to bulk reassign, use this button. 
This way we can take all of the test cases from a particular individual. You might be perhaps at the end of the sprint and somebody needs to come in and wrap up with all of the testing so we stay on schedule. So in this case we can assign all of the test cases to anyone. Now to create reports around the assignment but also the progress of execution go to the three dots over here and use export it's quite useful for creating assignment reports in for example pdf format and then emailing them out to users ahead of testing so equally well you can go to an entire cycle and use export to create a cycle based report you can go to a phase and again use export to create a phase based report if you've created a template for cycles and you want to repurpose them, for example, for monthly or weekly tests, remember that you can go to the three dots next to a cycle and clone. That way you can create a template cycle and repurpose that every so often, for example, every month or every week. Automated test case sprints are added in here automatically for you. You don't need to add these in manually. When a vortex run happens, the cycle appears here automatically for you. For example, this is a Jenkins run, this is a Bamboo run. This Selenium run over here comes directly from Vortex. So the folder watcher, for instance, can be set up in quite complex ways, whereby a CI engine might execute some test cases, a folder watcher listens in on the workspace location results, and then automatically brings the cycle results in here for you. So what you really need to focus on is creating the manual test case runs as well as the semi-automated test case runs here too. With your manual, semi-automated and automated cycle information in one place, everyone can see when tests are being conducted, when automation runs happen, we can easily report and we can leverage the other areas of Zephyr Enterprise and Zephyr Teams, for example the reports application, to drill down and have a look at the lower level information, for instance the subfolders and their respective execution results.